Welcome to Saints Cast. My name is Jake Danforth. Alongside me, Francis Burt Reynolds Shields celebrating this Movember month. Francis, how are you doing tonight? Doing great, Jake. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Busy weekend for the Saints. Lots of teams in action. Jake, what stood out to you? Yeah, championship weekend here at St. Lawrence. Men's football team wrapped up the Liberty League victory. Let's take a look at some highlights. Moving forward to Leckenby Stadium now, Saints hosting Merchant Marine with the chance to wrap up the Liberty League title. Saints on defense now. This is Israel Squires who makes a play on the ball, picks it off, and they're going the other way. Saints on offense now. This is Michael Leffelbein drops back. He fires deep to Leandre Simmons for a 26-yard touchdown, 7-0 Saints. Saints with 30 seconds before halftime on the one-yard line. Leffelbein throws it all the way back to Matt Gardner for the strike, 14-0 Saints at half. Saints now to return the kick. This is Austin Loricella moving to his right. Takes the kick. Gets a couple key blocks. This is a 79-yard return as he's tackled just inside the 10. Saints wrap up the league with the 21-14 win. Win the Hoffman Cup and take on Mount Union on Saturday. Now to basketball, men's basketball had their season opener against the SUNY Oswego Lakers. They unfortunately fell 73-67. to Junior captain Kyle Edwards added 18 points, while Willie Zachary had 16 points and 5 assists. Kyle Kobus also added 10. Now Jake, how about women's basketball? Yeah, moving forward to the women, they were a little bit more successful than the men. They were 2-0 on the weekend. First against Misericordia. A trio of Saints had 12 points, Watterson, Cotrochi, and Dalton, as the Saints went on to roll them 75-45. Moving forward to Saturday, they played host Drew in the championship. They won 56-44, led by Dalton, who had 18 points, 10 rebounds. She was named the tournament MVP. Men's swimming and diving was in action this weekend at Rochester. They faced off against Nazareth and unfortunately fell 175 to 106. Matthew Edkins and Alex Blake finished first and second in both diving events. Now for the women, Darla Long the first year as well as senior Alana Blackburn pictured here. They each won a pair of events for the Saints. Alana Blackburn continued their unbeaten streak as she has not been beaten in a freestyle stroke event since 2013. Moving forward to men's hockey, the battle of Route 11. This is the Saints 0-0 score. They throw it over to Bayreuther. He flicks one on net, and that finds the back of the net. Saints go up 1-0. Moving forward to the third period, Glukowski throws one on net, goes right to Sullivan, the slot shot, score. Later in the third, this is Alex Hagen. He jams on the brakes, fires back, saucer pass to Eric Sweetman with the absolute bomb, and Steve Perry had no chance to catch up to that one. Saints go on to win 3-0 over Clarkson. This is the first time the Saints have ever shut out Clarkson in Appleton Arena history. Moving forward to men's cross country, they finished second this past weekend at regionals, led by Thomas Caulfield and Joe Smith. This gives them an automatic bid to NCAAs. Now on the women's side, Megan Kellogg won regionals, her seventh consecutive victory. The Saints received an at-large bid to the national championship in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Men's soccer in action in the first round of NCAA is against Sage. Morgan Smith here on the corner kick. Good ball in. Harry Copeland gets ahead on it. Save made, and Chandler Short puts it home to tie it at 1-1. Pick up here in the 84th minute. Saints tied 1-1. Noah Bunton on the penalty kick scores. Saints win 2-1 and move on to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Pick up here in the 69th minute against Scranton. Saints up 1-0, and Morgan Smith has a free kick. Saints are going to pull some trickery right here. Harry Copeland fakes the cut and draws three defenders and walks away. And sneaking in right here is Dan Hunt. He'll take the ball from Smith and put it home. Saints win 2-0 in advance to the Sweet 16 in Philadelphia. Now to women's soccer. Pick up here in the first round of the NCAA is against the College of New Jersey. Saints down 2-0. Great ball in by Sam Rock. Here's Hannah Merriam. She buries it. Saints trail only 2-1 at this point, but fall 4-1. Overall successful fall season for St. Lawrence Athletics, sending five teams to the NCAA tournament. Football, men's soccer, and men's and women's cross country compete this weekend. Well, that's a wrap for Saints cast. We wish you all a happy and healthy Thanksgiving and extend our best of luck to all the Saints teams competing in nationals. We'll see you in December.